Hey guys, this is Joe coming from Joanna Turek uh, Personal Training Health and Wellness. Today I'm going to talk to you about um, the reason why people uh, struggle to stick through with their goals um, and how they're planning to fail. So this might seem like a bit of a weird concept. Um, you've probably heard it time and time again. Maybe you're one of those people that go, I've tried everything, um, I've done every diet under the book, I've done Atkins, I've done Paleo, I've done low carb, high protein, I've done high carb, low protein, I've done detox, I've done um, slimming shakes and nothing seems to work for me. I've exercised, done Zumba, done cardio, done weight training, done CrossFit, whatever it may be, you've tried everything and nothing seems to work in terms of your weight loss. Maybe you lose a couple kilos, um, but then go back to square one or put on a bit more weight. So um, I'm going to talk to you about um, the idea of psychology behind goal setting and um, achieving your maybe weight loss goals or fitness goals. Now, I'm going to talk to you a lot about fitness and weight loss, but this can very much apply to different aspects of your life. So um, keep that in mind that whenever you've got like a bit of a massive goal ahead of you or a dream ahead of you, that you might be coming up with these similar concepts or similar notions in your brain. So first of all, I'm talking to you about how people plan to fail. And that kind of seems a little bit crass and a little bit um, negative, but it is a little bit of a reality check to a lot of people that tell me, you know, I've tried everything, I've done every diet under the sun, um, and nothing seems to work. Now, the issue being is that a lot of people are looking for some kind of quick fix. They're looking for some kind of magic potion that's going to work for a couple of weeks, and then they can go back to their regular uh, lifestyle that they were living beforehand. Unfortunately, the world of health and fitness and vitality is a lifelong process and it's something that happens gradually over time and should be a slow process in order for you to adapt fully into this kind of health and well-being lifestyle. Um, so this idea of planning to fail, I keep mentioning it. Um, so people going on these really huge lifestyle changes. For example, I might say um, a woman goes on a detox diet which means that she can only drink lemon, pepper, or cane pepper uh, in water and pretty much have no meals during the day and sort of live on this kind of starvation diet. In the long run, that's a huge change to her lifestyle. If she was eating several meals a day, um, high in saturated fat or carbohydrates or whatever she was eating beforehand, and then suddenly her body goes into shock. Obviously, she's going to lose weight, but this isn't sustainable in the long run. I can't imagine that this woman's going to be doing this for the rest of her life, and I don't expect her to either. Uh, it's not even healthy anyway. So at the end of the day, she'll go back to a regular life because life gets in the way. She'll have um, family, birthday, dinners, drinks, work, Christmas parties, etc., and she'll go back to square one and put on some more weight. And this cycle continues to happen and continues to happen and continues to happen, tries every other different diet, tries every other different routine of exercise. But the idea behind it is that she's changing way too many habits in one go. And once you start changing lots and lots of habits, it can be really frightening. Um, imagine if, for example, I told you right now that you had to leave your house, leave your job, leave your family and start a whole new world. That kind of seems drastic, but it's sort of the same mentality. Someone that's going from a sedentary background, they'd never exercised before, they um, you know, have a really sedentary job and they're just um, in an office, for example, and then suddenly every single day they're going to the gym for an hour, hour and a half, and they're eating only lettuce and squatting all the time. It's a huge lifestyle change. They're suddenly devoting their life to exercise and eating not as many calories or something that's you know not their usual intake it's not going to work in the long run um, because of this idea that essentially there's way too many changes that have happened in one go. So what a lot of people will do is go through that. They'll go in and change their entire life and think, oh yeah, this is awesome. I'm going to keep up with this and find a couple of weeks, a month later, they're back to the old lifestyle that they were living. And um, this idea of planning to fail means that they know subconsciously deep down it's really hard to change. It's really hard to change habits you've instilled for a really long time. It's really hard to let go of what is comfortable. You know, going to um, 
you know, sitting on your ass at the end of the day after a long day at work in front of the TV is a lot more comfortable than packing your gym clothes and going straight there once you finish work. Or it's a lot more comfortable to sleep in that extra hour in the morning than to get up and go for a walk. Um, it's a lot more comfortable to eat something that's cheap and fast and a little bit fattening than to create a, a meal that's healthy and full of good nutrients. It is comfortable to eat when we are upset, angry, happy, sad, bored, than to think of this as um, emotional eating and, and, and trying a different kind of habit instead. It's hard to do that. It is hard to change these habits that are comfortable to something that might be uncomfortable for a little while. And the truth is, they become more comfortable. Um, I get up at 5 in the morning pretty much every day. And once upon a time, you, I can guarantee I thought that was ridiculous. Once upon a time, I thought no one should be up before like 7 a.m. Because even that is early. And yes, it's a little bit uncomfortable. It's Do you think that I really want to get up when it's dark and maybe winter and raining outside and it's pretty much night time still to go exercise? Over time, you develop this habit and it, you don't give yourself that choice but initially those things are uncomfortable and it's something that people need to gradually take on board and change one or two aspects at a time so this idea of planning to fail I keep mentioning back to it these people that have changed heaps and heaps of things in their life they're suddenly getting up really early or you know staying and going to the gym straight away after work and change their entire diet um, you know, a lot of different factors are going to change in their life and it is uncomfortable. So if I can keep this up for a couple of weeks and then, you know, sort of self-sabotage in some ways, subconsciously, I can say, look, I tried it, but it failed and it didn't work for me. So if I can do that over and over and over again, then I can tell myself, lie to myself falsely and tell everyone else that I've tried everything. I've tried every exercise under the sun, I've tried every diet under the sun and nothing seems to work for me, which means that I can stay in a state of comfort. I can keep the old habits that I've formed for a long time. It means that I can continue sitting on my ass in front of the TV every night. It means that I can have that sleep in. It means that I could have that chocolate donut because you know what? I've tried every single diet and every single exercise and I can't lose weight. And that's the idea behind it. Subconsciously, these people want to fail because it means that they can stay in that comfort zone. And more often than not, it's the people that have that sudden realization that it's a dis it's uncomfortable to be in that comfort zone that they start to change things. And it is a gradual process. If you sound like one of those people that seems to be subconsciously trying to fail, hit me up. I can talk to you directly one-on-one, -on -one, tell you a bit of more advice and information about how we can go about changing um, those habits into lifelong, uh, healthy habit-forming um, areas in your life. Thanks for watching. Peace.